Hi, this is Lucas, and today I'm going to show you how to burn a CD or DVD with Windows instead of using a third party software. I'm using Windows 8 right now, as you can see, but this also works with Windows 7. First, make sure that you have a CD or DVD writer, which lets you burn the files onto the disk. I have my laptop right here, and uh, on, on the right, I have a DVD writer. So, the first thing to do is obviously grab a CD or DVD, as you can see right now um, uh, on the screen. Um, insert it in the DVD writer or CD writer and let the computer read that there is a disk. So after some time, check the my co check my computer, uh, go on my computer, open it, and as you can see, it read that there is a CD um, uh, that has a capacity of 700 megabytes. So all you have to do is double click it. And here you have uh, uh, a window pops up. So what this does is uh, first of all write the disk title. I'm going to write tutorial. Now these are two options. Um, uh, in the past years we used this type of um, uh, burning which, mean, which means that when you burn the files you cannot change them afterwards unless you use a, spe a special type of uh, disk but now thanks to Windows um, you have this option which is like a USB flash drive so what this means is that um, is that it turns your CD like a USB flash drive which means that you can edit save um, delete and add other files to the CD itself without um, uh, burning another disk. So we are going to choose like USB flash drive. It is recommended to choose that one because if you have, if you make a mistake or something like that, you can either change the file uh, or replace it. So click next and let it form form it because it needs to change some things obviously so that it makes it like a USB flash drive doesn't take too much and now the disk is formatted now all you have to do is double click again the CD and here you will have um, uh, the files contained in the CD. So all you have to do is drag something. For example, if I may, that's a picture. So open it again and drag that picture right there. And it copies it like a uh, pen drive or something like that so let's check it out again so that we know that it works so we eject it so now to eject it so, so the, you are on the safe side uh, go on my computer right click the CD and select eject because it takes some time before it ejects now the CD is ready now we have to test it out so we insert it again we let it load Now that is red, so double click it and as you can see there is the JPG file with our picture. So now to check that um, it works 
um, we need to change the file so first we, deal, uh, we insert another file for example another picture we let it in and delete the other one and now we have that picture which is this one now we close it we eject it wait for it to eject and then we insert it again so that we check that the picture has changed so we insert it again so now we open it again and we have this file right here so as you can see that worked perfectly so that was it for this tutorial thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe